Welcome to WEH Videos. My name is Skip, and this is part three on my series on missed approaches and holding patterns. And if you remember last time, we were to climb out to 1,100 feet, then make a climbing right turn to 5,000 feet, and then follow the 275 radial off the Mavericks Vore for 35.6 miles. And we decided we were going to use another VOR, the UKW Vortac here, and tune our NAV2 radio to 112.4 to highlight that intersection also. So that's the intersection for UKW and Mavericks VORs. And now we are at slot, and we are going to enter our hold. All right, we're coming in this way. This would be a direct entry pretty obvious here so we are just going to immediately start our turn all right so we're going to start our right turn and we're going to put our right wing right on the R there to get a standard rate of turn and we are going to turn at this rate until we are at a heading of 095 which is the reciprocal of the 275 course we came out on. And there we go. Now we want to set our timer for one minute. Alrighty, we're going to make our standard rate turn to the right. Put our wing right on the R there in our turn coordinator. And now we're turning back to the 275 radial off of the Maverick Vore. And right about now we start, we want to roll out right on the 275. And now we set our timer for one more minute. Looks like we got there a little early. So let's pause and take a look at the map and see how we did. Well, we're right back on slot. That's pretty good. Let's look at our flight path. And there you can see we made a really nice track there. We did our first hold, and now we're just going to hope that the folks at the tower will allow us to come back to the airport and try to land again. All right, let's try it from a different heading into the slot intersection. We're on a course of 060, and you see that 275 is right down here. So we can visualize our patterns here, our entry patterns. So we can just visualize these by imagining a line from 270 to the center of our airplane here. And the same thing, we can do the 110 degrees. We visualize this, and now we can see we're in the smaller area. And this, as you remember, is a teardrop entry. So now we know what entry we're going to use. Let's go ahead and do that. And I will do the teardrop entry. Uh, but I'm not going to do the holding pattern, and then we'll do a parallel entry, and that'll be it. All right, we're coming up on slot. We're going to watch the CDI needle. As soon as we line up with the 275, we are going to make our turn to course 065. Let's turn off the autopilot now, and it looks like we're right there. We're going to start our turn to 065 which is 30 degrees offset from the 095 outbound course. And now we're going to hold this for one minute. Once the wings are level on your rollout, then you start your timer. One minute. Now we start our turn back to intercept the 275 radial. straighten out a little bit here. Uh, 
and now we are heading straight back to slot. So I'm not going to fly all the way back to the slot here. You don't need to watch me do that. But let's just take a look at the map and see what that looks like. All right, so here you see I kind of cheated and came on on a 06 angle, so we just made a slight five degree turn. We went out for one minute, and then we just did a procedure turn back to the 275 radial, and then we follow that back to slot. Now I know slot is down here on the map, but if you remember when we flew straight out in the first lesson here that even though we were on the 275 radial, it did not cross directly over the top of our little picture here. So I think this map is off a little bit because we are on the 275 radial, which should have crossed right over slot. All right, now we are on a heading of 160, and we are going into the same holding pattern at the slot intersection. So how would we enter from this angle? So we look at our little airplane, and here's the 275. So we're going to draw a line from that 275, and it looks like this. 275, 110 degrees to the 025, and we draw our line. So we are heading this way into the intersection, and so this would be a parallel entry, which means we are going to get to the slot intersection and make a left turn on the outbound course of 095. We'll set our timer for one minute, do a procedure turn back to the 275 radial and then back to slot where we will enter our holding pattern. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, we're crossing slot. Let's start our left turn to 095. As soon as our wings are level, we will start our timer for one minute. All right, wings level. Okay, we got one minute to go here. Then we will do a left standard rate turn back to the 295 radial back to the slot intersection and enter the hold. Five seconds to go. And now we start our standard rate turn. And we're going to pick up our 275 radial off of the Mavericks 4 back to slot. All right, we're going to go a little bit past the 275. We want to go maybe 20, 30 degrees on that. Now we'll straighten out and we'll watch our CDI needle. When we pick up the 275, then we will make a right turn back on the 275 course. All right, let's start turning back to 275. All right, so I'm not going to get us all the way back to slow. We've got a couple of miles to go. I, you get the idea here. So let's just take a look at the map and see what it looks like. All right, I zoomed in quite a bit here. And as you can see, we came down. We crossed over um, the slot intersection. We went out for one minute, did our procedure turn back, and then back on the 275 radial. And again, I believe this map is a little off because we crossed over the slot according to our radios. Uh, so I think maybe this is not in the right place. So, But you get the idea. That is a parallel entry. So that's it for my tutorials on missed approach and holding patterns. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. 
and thank you so much for watching, and God bless.